We turn the make from the spring into love And it grows, boy Even when the sky is gray And it shows, boy Even on a cloudy day my channel I'm Gabrielle in today's video we are going to be installing this closure wig step by step because I know a lot of you guys still wear closures and not really into like wearing frontals yet <laughs> I absolutely love 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 frontals but I started with closures so um, I decided to switch up and just come with a closure wig and show you guys how I step by step install it now this is just the way that I install it one of the ways actually because I would really like using build hold extreme cream but I know a lot of you guys are wearing closure wigs because you like to take them off because they're super convenient you you don't have to commit to it you can literally take it off every single day and then just plop it back on so because of that I'm gonna be using my Gatsby glue freezing hairspray to lay the lace down in the front and whenever you're using the Gatsby glue gel or the freezing hairspray make sure you have like some type of towel or a makeup wipe so that you can wipe away the crust okay because there's always gonna be crust I don't care I don't care how good you are there's always gonna be crust when you're using these products so um, that's what you guys are gonna see me use other than that the only thing that I ended up using is my concealer for the parting space and then just some black eyeliner and that's about it yeah that's about it so um let me tell you where this wig is from and it's from Wiggins I recommend this company I like this company I've tried different textures from this company I have a playlist so check it check it out if you are thinking about wanting to purchase from this company but as you guys are already probably watching the clip of me installing it, it's pretty self-explanatory. But if there is some very, very new beginners out there that are watching this, hey, hello, you can do it. Okay, just practice and you can do it. But I want to explain maybe just like a couple things to you guys of why I'm doing what I'm doing in the video. So the first thing is, let's just start with the parting space. So I usually pluck my hairline, but when it comes to the parting space, I don't do it okay the the hairline is all I can do when it comes to plucking all right I just don't have the patience to do anything else other than that so what I like to do is use a concealer that is lighter or whatever concealer matches your skin tone that's your preference whatever color you choose to use um, and I just literally put it in the parting space and it just basically gives the illusion that the hair is parted and I feel like it works I feel like it you know it does the job that I'm wanting it to do um, also when you have a closure and you cut it it is like the the part of the closure that reinforces it so that it doesn't unravel it is a little bit thicker and it's lighter and what I like to do is get a dark brown or a black eyeliner or eyeshadow anything that you can use I try to stay in the makeup realm okay don't go get like a marker or nothing like that but um, I usually go ahead and I just literally um, like color is that the word I'm trying to use we just gonna go with it um, usually like just color that in so that it blends with my hair that's underneath and um, that really usually does the trick but I am a little extra so I like to do my baby hairs right um, around that area so that it definitely camouflages it okay so before I wrap this video up I do want to touch on how this hair feels okay so the hair feels so lightweight so fluffy um the only thing about it is that it gets frizzier um the more you touch it and obviously it gets bigger the more you touch it and if you've been rocking with me you know by now y'all know i love big hair and i the bigger the better i say that all the time but if it gets a little too frizzy the look starts to change a little bit and for me i feel like um, I would use my Shea Butter or Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, um, especially in the front area because that's what I, I touch this the most. So I would use that product in here just to define the curls and minimize the frizziness that comes from me touching uh, my hair. So other than that, the curl pattern is so pretty. I love the length. Now the cap is a little bit bigger then my circumference I am I have a 22 inch circumference 
head and I usually wear an average cap size but I will say I'd rather it be a little bit big than a little bit small because a little bit small is not a lot you can really do but when it's a little bit big um, you can just adjust the straps or you can add an elastic band add some combs like there's a there's a lot you can actually do with a cap size that is just a little bit big so um that's not really a problem. I actually prefer that. So I'm glad that this company um, has uh, a little bit of some wiggle room, I'm going to say, some wiggle room to their cap. And um, yeah, their cap is constructed really well. I will say in the back, if you guys have gotten wigs before, there's like maybe like an inch, inch and a half of lace in the back. This one does not have that. Um, but usually when I get like wigs like this, I'm not putting it up. It, I'm wearing it down like this so um and if I do wear it up I just pull my hair in the back and lift it up but that's, an, that's another that's another video um but I think that's all I have to say yeah that's all I have to say about this unit so I hope you guys enjoy watching me and saw this unit if you do go ahead and like this video and then subscribe because if you're gonna like something you might as well subscribe because I'm gonna have more of it coming okay and um yeah leave a comment down below if you have tried this hair or if you have any other tips that might help some beginners out there on how to install their closure wig so with that being said i'm gonna check y'all at least out in my next one bye